Hi, I'm Mike Ohenian, Client Technology Specialist from Dell. Today I want to talk about docking, and uh, in particular the WD-19TV uh, Thunderbolt docking. Uh, let's start off by saying, why docking, right? Why, why does docking exist? And you think about uh, the purpose of it, if you come into the office or come into your home office and you get your notebook and you've got a monitor or monitors you need to plug in, you've got a mouse and keyboard, uh, you need a video camera and some microphones. You know, those are a lot of things that you're plugging in um, on there. So the docking station was really to simplify it, right? So if, you know, here I got the WD-19 Thunderbolt dock and you plug all those devices into this dock and this is a single cable that then plugs into your notebook that gives you your power and all your connectivity um, to, to those devices. So it makes it really simple. Um, and it, it makes it fast, right? You get to your work going a lot quicker. I had a client one time, um, they were about to roll out new notebooks to everybody and they were on the cusp of making a decision and not uh, using docs. They said, well, we'll save money and we'll just have everybody plug in, uh, you know, plug in their notebooks. And we started to talk about it. We started talking about the cost of, of labor. Um, and, and I'll use some real rough numbers math, right? And this is kind of what we walk through. Uh, you know, a Fortune 500 company, an average burden rate uh, for an employee is about $46 an hour. It's a full burden rate. Uh, say if it takes about five minutes to plug all those in, that's about $3.80 you just charged, or just, you uh, just paid an employee to plug in cables. You start doing the math a little bit further out, that's about $46, a little $46 a month, or $920 a year for your employee to plug in cables, right? Let alone the, the nice convenience the employee has of, of, of a single plug it in. Um, there's some the economics to it. And the other thing, right, uh, if you if you don't give someone a dock, uh, they're gonna come into work and they're gonna forget their AC adapter one day. They're gonna work for a couple hours and then have to go home. So you gotta think of those costs as well. Uh, so it, it's convenient and there's some economic uh, benefits of doing this. So when we talk about the Dell family, it's the WD-19 family of docks. There's um, two flavors of WD-19, which is a USB-C or USB-C connection dock. Uh, there's the WD-19 uh, TV, uh, which is the Thunderbolt dock, which I have here, which is 180 watts. Uh, there's also one a step above this, which is a WD-19 DC, and that's 240 watt uh, uh, power on that. And that's more for the high-end precision notebooks that require more power uh, to run. And there's also a universal dock. Now, if, you're, if we're talking about docks, a uh, common question would be is like, hey, I see out there there's a, a WD19S uh, and there's a WD19, there's a WD19TV uh, and WD19TVS. What's that S stand for and what's the difference? Um, well, the, the S stands for simplify. And there's a little port on the docks here, which is the three and a half millimeter uh, audio port. Uh, on this. And during the pandemic here, uh, the global supply of the chip that makes that audio port work is on major constraint. Um, so we had made a decision at Dell that rather than have a really long uh, lead time on the docks, we were just going to simplify it and move that port. And it's not a, a, a real big deal. Um, not a lot of people still use the analog ports. And, and if you do, you can simply go out and buy a, a $5 little adapter that gives you that that same connection. So uh, if you're out there looking at them and you see a, a, a version like a WD-19 and a WD-19S, the S stands for simplified, it's just um, uh, missing that uh, audio port on there. All the other function and capabilities uh, are the same. So we talk about monitors, right? That's the other reason uh, people like the, the dock is I want to put multiple monitors uh, connected to this. And if we take a look at some of the ports that we have here, um, we've got two display ports, uh, we've got an HDMI port, we've got um, another display port, a USB-C, uh, two USB and ethernet, that's your power. And on this one um, is the Thunderbolt. That's what TB stands for, it's Thunderbolt. Um, and if you have a, like a, a WD-19, um, just a plain WD-19, which is USB-C, you notice this section here um, is black, it's a little different. This is actually removable, so I can actually pull this off. So if I have the non-Thunderbolt version, you can actually buy just this module, and plug it in and make it Thunderbolt. So 
especially for those that are getting like the new uh, uh, Latitude uh, 7420s. Uh, the new chipsets have Thunderbolt standard on them. So uh, there'll be people out there that don't have the Thunderbolt, you can upgrade to it. We look at the uh, front side uh, of this. Again, we've got another USB-C, we've got another um, USB port on there. And again, the audio, but that'll be missing on the S uh, versions of it. And on the top, we've got a power button um, on this. So if we go back and talk about monitors, we review the ports. Um, I'm gonna say this in general because there are a lot of ways you can configure this and a lot of ways you can uh, change uh, how many monitors you have. But in general, for most notebook users that are using an integrated graphics, so that graphics is built onto the processor, not a, a discrete graphics uh, like an NVIDIA or, or an AMD. Um, most people uh, that have the configuration, what you're gonna be able to support on this is up to two 4K displays at 60 hertz, or you can have three displays at a QHD resolution at 60 hertz, or three at full high definition at 60 hertz. And that's general, right? You can um, support more, but it's more dependent on your notebook than it is the document. So if you like to have a higher end uh, precision uh, notebook with its own graphics card, in some cases you can support all the way up to four 4K displays at 60 hertz. So I'll put a little slide in here um, so you can see the different matrices on there. But I usually just say in general, it's either two 4K or three of uh, 3HD or lower um, resolution. Now, um, if you've watched my videos, uh, some of my other videos, you've seen me talk of phrases about our, our hub displays where the docking station is, is already built into uh, the monitor. And, and you may be a little puzzled about why I'm, I'm promoting docking station, which is promoting how great the hub displays are. Well, there are still reasons why you want to go with docking over hubs. Uh, one common one, and I get this a lot, is, hey, we already own the monitors, right? I don't want to go buy another monitor with a docking station here when I already own lots of monitors. And uh, you know, we're not getting rid of them anytime soon. So in that scenario, hey, I've got a docking station that will take, uh, take that place. Um, in the hub displays themselves, they use a protocol called MST to do daisy chaining. So you connect uh, one monitor to the hub, you basically just daisy chain off of another one. There's some limitations to um, uh, MST uh, protocol. Uh, for one, you can't, um, you can't daisy chain a higher resolution display. So say if your hub display is a QHD resolution and you have a 4K display you want to hook to it, you'll never be able to get to a 4K display. The most you can do is QHD resolution. So you really can't mix match uh, resolution slot. Um, you could have a scenario like I have for my work computer. I've got the 38 inch curved display with a 27 inch display hooked to it. Uh, the MST protocol does not support wide formatting, uh, wide format daisy chaining on there. So in that scenario, I needed a uh, docking station um, to, to be able to do that. And don't think I'm crazy. I'm not the only one that has a 30 inch curve with a second display. <laughs> There's a few of us out there. Um, so that, that would be another reason. Um, another area, the, the WD-19 Thunderbolt dock is uh, Apple certified, right? So there's a big following of Mac users in here. And the reason why there's a big following for this docking station by them uh, is it will do what Macs don't like to do. Uh, it will allow you to do dual up to 4K extended displays. So I can hook to a Mac and do two displays um, at 4K extended with the Mac display open. And it does have the Mac certification and the Apple certification on there. So big following among our, our Mac users. Um, another thing, and this is small, but it, it has some merit to it. Uh, there is a power on button on this uh, docking station up here on the top. So if I, I talk about, um, you know, I'm closing up for the night and I'm leaving my uh, notebook uh, at my work area and I'll come out in the morning with a dock, you simply just press the power button and it boots up. With a hub display, you'd have to unplug it and plug it back in uh, to be able to get to wake up and, and connect to it. Um, seems minor, but some people like to, to tuck their notebook away and they just have a little power button uh, exposed to it uh, out there. Now, one of the things I always talk about with the hub displays that everybody likes that I really like is that it's clean, right? You've got a single cable coming out and there's not a lot of cables out there. Well, if we look at the setup I have here, um, I've got the uh, Precision 5550 
uh, hooked up to the um, U2720Q, uh, which is a 4K display. And then I've got the um, U3219Q 4K display uh, hooked up here. And all you see on this is just a single cable, right? And you may confuse this with a hub display. Well, what I've done is this is uh, something a lot of Dell users don't know exists. And this is the MK15, this piece of metal here. Uh, this simple piece of metal allows me to do a visa mount um, of the, uh, the docking station to the back of the monitor. Let's, let's go take a look at it here. So if we come back to the back, um, you can see here, and I, what I've done is installed the docking station upside down so you can see the cables, uh, but it's just a side mount, right? It connects on here that I put the docking station on and I've just wrapped the cables nice and clean. And, and then I've got it going over to the um, other display. So uh, in a sense, I've created a hub display, just a more powerful one with a uh, uh, Thunderbolt docking station in there. So, Pretty cool. Again, not a lot of uh, users know that this, this exists. And you can actually even use this to mount underneath a desk, right? And then you can actually drill into a desk and put it that way. So it doesn't have to just be a visa mount, but a great little little device. Again, that's the um, MK15 is what that is. Um, so I uh, hope you found this useful. Again, my name is Michael O'Hanian, reviewing the WD-19 Thunderbolt Dock.